Hi, my name is Dr. Jackie McDermott, and I am the Assistant Director of Graduate Recruitment and Retention in the College of Engineering. Today we'll be talking about statements of purpose. So I'm going to jump on into the statement of purpose. Um, so a statement of purpose is an essay explaining why you want to go to graduate school. Um, and again, it's really important to note any instructions um, or any directions because they really can vary from university to university. Um, for example, some applications will ask for a personal statement versus a statement of purpose. And you might like see those words and say, what's the difference, right? Aren't they the same thing? Um, they are a little different. There's a really gray area between a personal statement and a statement of purpose. Um, for example, a personal statement is gonna be more of a, a, a statement about you, know, you and your life and, and, and how you got to this current place. However, um, a statement of purpose um, you know, is really going to be describing your purpose for going into a graduate program, right? Um, and it's, you know, more of a story um, about, you know, what are you going to contribute to a given graduate program? So they are a little different. A personal statement does kind of feed into a statement of purpose, but it's all how you um, almost like market yourself and all how you describe um, how these experiences have made you um, you know, a better person to contribute to a program this in this way. So typical um, specs of a statement of purpose, um, it's about three to 500 words. Um, it'll demonstrate your ability to communicate um, and communicate effectively, right? Um, you want simple and direct language. You don't want to be verbose and flowery and adjectives all around. You want to um, really get to the point. Um, it also will explain your purpose for pursuing graduate study, your purpose for studying at a given institution. Um, it'll talk about your research interests, um, um, your career goals, um, what you bring to the table. Um, so, you know, what, what are you going to contribute to that program? Um, and so for career goals, it might be, you know, similar to purpose for, to your purpose for like going to grad school, um, but you can get like even more specific. What careers are you thinking? Why is a grad degree necessary for those careers? Um, and then also you can discuss um, very succinctly um, any special circumstances. For example, especially with COVID, right? If your GPA is low, maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, you've been dealing as a caregiver for a parent or a family member. Um, you can talk about that. You don't want to spend the whole thing, talk, your whole per statement of purpose talking about that. Um, but you can, you know, very quickly say, you know, this happened and that's why my GPA was low. Um, so it, it will allow you some space to, to talk about anything that might be a little gray, um, a little gray area in um, your package. Um, and, you know, you want to, bottom line, you want to show that mutual benefit, right? So why should we choose you for our graduate program? Um, and why are you choosing us? And it's very important to remember that graduate applications are a two-way street, right? You might think, oh my gosh, they're choosing me. But at the end of the day, we want a good fit, right? We want to make sure that um, you know, we are choosing you for good reasons that you can contribute to our programs, but then that, you know, you are going to take this degree and go do amazing things with it, right? Like think about Purdue alumni, like think about first and last man on the moon. We, we want people to go do great things um, with our graduate degrees. Um, and, and so, you know, that's in line with most programs, right? We, we want to see you go do good things. And so, you know, we wanna see that mutual benefit from the very beginning. Um, and again, this is a, a lot of um, information in a very small space, three to 500 words. Um, you don't wanna get gimmicky, you wanna state your purpose, um, and you're gonna have to tailor this to um, each, um, each, in, each university you're applying to, right? Because you, um, you will have a different purpose for studying at Purdue versus Georgia Tech or Michigan, right? Um, there's going to be different faculty. There's going to be different resources. Um, they, they will all be a little different. Okay, and so for a statement of purpose, you should really answer three questions. What have you done and what did you learn from it? So if you think about your summer research, um, you know, what did you do this summer um, and um, what did you learn from it? Um, what are your future plans for this degree? Career goals, again, really harking back to mutual purpose. Um, and why are you selecting 
this specific program or institution to meet your goals. Um, for example, if you're interested in healthcare engineering, maybe you're selecting Purdue because of our, um, you know, our, our research center for healthcare engineering, right? Um, so you want to talk about these things in your statement of purpose. Okay, and very quickly, so what else really should be in your statement of purpose? Um, you should briefly describe your experiences. Um, so for example, here are some phrases that you could probably use. Um, and again, I'll share all these slides, so you can use them later. Um, so, you know, as an undergraduate researcher, I did blank, blank, blank. Therefore, you know, now I can think critically and work independently. Um, another phrase, you know, since taking a class in, say, like, um, exploratory data, you know, now I'm ready to you know, hit the ground running in my PhD and dive even deeper into the field data. Um, or, you know, during my time as president of, say, like, Society of Women Engineers, you know, I learned how to work on it, work as a team, right? And so now I can apply this and mentor undergrads when I'm a grad student, right? So there's, you know, many different ways that you can phrase your current experiences in a way that shows your potential contribution as a graduate student. Um, and so that should definitely be included in your statement of purpose. Okay, so um, again, I'm not gonna go into super detail here, um, but how do you talk about your future plans? Um, you really want to include, you know, what degree you're planning on getting and why. Um, you want to talk about um, what you're interested in, but also express a little flexibility, right? Um, and it, you should kind of list a few interests, use, you should, um, um, sorry, <laughs> express interest, um, um, but you know, limit your areas to two or three areas. You don't want to say like, I'm interested in mechanical engineering and ag and biological engineering. There's just a huge range there, right? Um, you want to get dive a little bit deeper into those research areas, those sub areas um, that you're really excited about. Um, and you want to use general career plans um, rather than names of them. Employers. So instead of saying, I want to work at Tesla after I finish with my master's or PhD, maybe you say, I want to work in the automotive industry and in research and design, knowing that there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of great options um, for you after you get your master's or PhD. Okay. And again, I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but you know, why this institution or program, you want to customize, you want to mention a few faculty who have interests. Um, who interest you and you want to really show how you know your background fits with um, with kind of the how your background fits with the research going on in that department or school right um, and and how are you really qualified to succeed in that area you can talk about your summer research um, and you really want to over avoid overstating the obvious um, within your letter stick to the facts um, and make very um, pointed statements okay um, so, um, statement of purpose. So before you submit, like I said, um, it's going to be a lot in a very small space, three to 500 words, right? How do you do this all? It, you have to draft it all up and keep um, going over it. You want to be brief but explicit and you want to really include all those details and facts. Um, you know, it's really easy to to write up all of this and then end up with a two page document and you're like, how am I supposed to parse this down? Go through each paragraph, make sure you have solid topic sentences, um, make sure you're testing each sentence individually, um, seeing how they contribute to that paragraph and that greater um, package um, or greater statement as a whole. Um, you know, sometimes you'll read through and you'll have four sentences and you say, is this really important? Do I have to tell them that? How does this show that I'm really excited about a graduate degree? If it doesn't, tighten it up, right? Um, see what you can remove. Um, really, really remove any unnecessary adjectives you need to proofread. Um, if you start this early, you can actually have multiple people read it. You can have your mentor read it. Um, you can have friends read it. Um, the more people who read it, the better. 